Good morning all, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see about the poem, Trees. Trees The banyan is the largest of the trees. The pupil quivers in the breeze. The coconut grows up straight and tall. The neem's tree fruits are very small. The tamarind gives a pleasant shape. The tail's leaf is sharp as a blade. The tea tree gives us useful wood. The mango gives us fruit that is good. Now let us move on with the author, Sarah Coleridge. Sarah Coleridge was an English author and a translator. She was born on 23rd December 1802. Her notable works are The Month, Oak, Aspen, Peach, etc. She died on 3rd May 1852. Let us now discuss about the various tree that is mentioned in the poem. The first one is the banyan tree. The banyan tree is the largest of all the trees. The banyan tree is a huge tree with aerial roots. It has a thick trunk and a glossy leaves. It provides food for birds and shelter for birds, animals and humans. The next one is the peepal tree. The peepal tree is also known as the sacred fig tree or the mulberry tree. It also has a beautiful heart shaped leaf. It trembles and shakes rapidly even in a gentle wind which looks so much attractive. It has a lot of medicinal values and cures many health problems. The next one is the coconut tree. So unlike the banyan, the tree grows tall and straight. The coconuts have water inside which has a lot of medicinal properties. Oil is extracted from coconuts which have excellent nutritive values. It is used for cooking and cosmetic purposes. Other uses include using the shells and husk for craft works. The next one is the neem tree. The neem tree is another Indian tree that has a lot of medicinal values. The fruits and seeds are tiny but are rich of neem oil. The next one is the turmeric tree. So this is the turmeric tree. The turmeric tree is a huge tree that produces turmeric. It is an edible fruit with a sour and sweet taste. It is one of the primary ingredients in Indian cooking and the turmeric is found within a shell. It gives a cool, enjoyable shade during hot summers. The next one is the date tree. The date tree of tall trees. They are similar to coconut trees. They don't provide shade like people, banyan or neem trees. But the date trees fruits are very healthy and full of nutrients. The leaves are long and sharp. So the poet says that leaves are sharp as a blade means that you can even cut through other objects but it is only used for poetical imagination and drawing. The next one is the teak tree and the mango tree. So this is the picture of teak tree. The teak tree gives us wood that is used for making furniture. The wood from the teak tree is very strong and remains useful for hundreds of years. Lastly, the poet writes about the mango tree. So the mango tree which gives tasty mangoes. Mangoes is a sweet juicy fruit loved by one and all. It grows during summer. So in this way, Sarah Coleridge gives some explanation about the trees. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned until the next. Bye.